All right. Hi. Hello. I am Colby. I am Code Dameron. I am the coach of the Boca Raton Belly Bolts. I am here for my week one match of season 10 of the VBL competitive draft league format. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. But here we are. Um, we got a team. We got some Pokemon. I'm excited about it. And we're going to talk about what the matchup looks like and then what we did to build around it and with it. And then what we're going to do. And then we're going to play the game. Okay. So week one, our opponent is Jay. Um, and Jay is a scary player. Jay is a uh, has this team here with Annihilate and Moltres. With, oh my god. So look at the shape of this team. There are some bulky threats in Annihilate, Moltres, Mudsdale. He will win the game with these. And how will he get those ready to win the game? Klefki, Electrode, Iron Bundle, and Toxic Rope. Two of the fastest Pokemon in the format in Electrode and Bundle. Priority screens and protection in Klefki, and then Fake Out and Toxic Croak. There's also like a Cyclozar if he really wants to go fast but not have his other fast mons. There's also a Trick Room mon which probably isn't going to click on Trick Room. Might not even come, I'm not prepping for it. Um, I guess Klefki gets Trick Room too. Uh, Zora isn't coming. Masquerade I'm not respecting, but really the thing I'm looking at with this team is one, two, three, four fast mons to set up one, two slow mons. Or uh, or inevitable mons. These two mons get uh, bigger and stronger as you go along. So does Mudsdale with stamina. But as we'll see, uh, I don't think Mudsdale is coming. Looking at just the straight up speeds, look at how fast he is. Um, his whole team is faster than a lot of mine. A thing that Jordan mentioned about my team is that, yeah, I drafted a faster team, but the format got faster too. So, so what do I do? Let's look at let's look at speeds for a second. One thing that he doesn't have is Fletchinder. He doesn't have Priority Tailwind. And Priority Tailwind can do a lot of stuff. And this is, spoiler alert, this is a team that I'm not playing today. This is the fast mode of the team. This is where I started my build. And as you can see on the screen, over, over there, over there, right over there, um... That's not, these aren't the six Pokemon that I'm bringing. But this is the fast version of the team, and I want to talk about it because I think it's really important for the matchup. Landorus at 252 Jolly hits 157, which, if you do the math, uh, Tailwind Landorus Jolly is faster than Booster Bundle. Which therefore means that so is, is Urshifu, which means, okay, I can actually be faster than his whole team. Maybe... Maybe I just run some nonsense really fast mode. Okay, let's go Landorus. Let's go Fletchinder. Let's maybe have a have a minus one option. Oh, I didn't actually run that on Talion. Hmm. Okay. How am I going to get him? I, do, I did a bunch of calcs into Mulches and into, an, and into Annihilate. One of which, which is as cool, is Brave Bird. Uh, Sharp Beak will kill max HP plus four defense Annihilate. So let's hope he doesn't invest any defense in the Annihilate. That Brave Bird does a lot of damage into the fighting type um, without the Reflect. Oh, but he's got Reflect. Okay, so if he leads Klefki Moltres and goes with Reflect, I guess I need my Wicked Blow. I need I need my Crit Hits. I need I need Snipe Shot. I need Crits. But that didn't work. The Calcs didn't work. And the Calc that I found was that I needed to soak the Moltres. Uh, Terra Dark, Choice Band, Wicked Blow, the Moltres, and what that would do is Klefki sets Reflect, Moltres gets soaked, Moltres gets dead, but I waste all of my stuff. And I played a match like that, and the Moltres terrored. And I'm like, okay. I played a, I played with Terra, uh, the Heaven a little bit. He helped me um, prep for this. And then the other problem was, okay, if I'm prepping for one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, then this strat, the Italian, only beats the Klefki. Oh my god, what am I going to do? Uh, little note, the Defog is actually kind of nice into the Toxic Croak. Uh, I'm not running um, the Covert Cloak, but it might look like it. And the Terra Ghost is also kind of cool. This Sharpie can actually get some cute kills on his team and does a real good amount. It does like more than 50 to Moltres, which isn't a thing you want to do, but whatever. But I've got the defog, so maybe there's a world where I defog into the Klefki, into the screens that go up. It's possible. Fletchinger's job is to really set Tailwind and die. But he makes us go faster. Okay, so I tried all these things, and okay, let's also run a Moongus. Let's go slow. Let's get him to Terra Grass and 
be kind of sad and then have a mental herb because he's got some taunts floating around. Where's taunt? No, it's on Toxic Crow. Yeah, he's got taunts floating around. I don't want to get taunted. I don't want to get Encored on the, the Among Us. Let's run a mental herb. And it didn't quite land. So I played it, and the, and the bottom line is, if I'm wasting my time trying to go faster than him, then I've got so much investment in speed. Look at all these speed investments. I was dying. The Rotom wasn't doing enough with the nasty plot. It wasn't enough. Uh, oh, I also wanted to get Okos with this with this lineup. I wanted the Choice Band. I wanted the Life Orb. I wanted Stone Edge here because the Stone Edge Life Orb kills the Moltres if it's not defense invested, if it's like special attack and HP. It, it was all way too fragile, if that makes sense. So I said, okay, what if, what if I built a slow team? And I built the slow team and I love it. So this is the team we're running. We're still keeping the package of let's go fast because I think that Tailwind didn't go faster than you is great. Uh, the Urshifu is ev to outspeed anything creeping Landorus. Landorus is 91. Landorus uh, hits 157. So something will be 158, 159. Let's just go a little bit over that and get a little bit of points in defense and HP. Why not? We still have to be jolly because if we do want to be faster than Booster Bundle, with Tailwind, we have to be this Urshifu. If we see the booster, then we know that we can actually hit the Urshifu, uh, the, the Iron Bundle every time. <sighs> we're running Sucker Punch because sometimes we're not faster. And sometimes we're in Trick Room. So the Mesprit, let's say, okay, let's actually go into Trick Room. The defense investment is to like live a whole bunch of Annihilate stuff. The special defense is actually for Moltres. And Terra Electric, just having no weaknesses makes your calcs look fine. Uh, Mesprit, if you're if they're attacking it, it's going to be a two or three shot, and it's going to get off a mystical power. And mystical power Thunderbolt hits a lot of his team. Uh, his team is actually pretty. Uh, the only things that resist electric are the Cyclozar and the Electrode and the Mudsdale, and then Psychic hits those neutrally. So it's fine, right? That's true. Something like that. Really, I want to be hitting the Moltres with. Thunderbolt, and I want to be hitting the Annihilate with Mystical Power, if possible. But also, I've got Trick Room and Protect. So, this month's good, and it's actually really consistent. Just Terra Electric Thunderbolt is a good move. Speaking of Terra Electric Thunderbolt, we actually have the Specs Rotom Heat, but he's coming in a minute. So, we have the Amoongus, and this Amoongus is actually running Sludge Bomb because I'm actually not too afraid of the Terra. I don't want to be afraid of the Terra Grass. So I was looking at a lot of lists that would be running the Amoongus. A lot of sets with the Amoongus on Leaf Storm to Oko the Iron Bundle. But I just don't think it's consistent enough. I don't want to miss. I don't want to actually get dropped with my special attack. Um, I'm Terra Dark to live things like the, the, I, the Rage Fist and not get Prankstered by this Klefki. Klefki doesn't get taunt, does it? Does it get taunt? No, I didn't think so. But again, it gets. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. I don't want to be prankstered, uh, if necessary. Honestly, Urshifu always gets killed by the. This is this was one of the problems with the team. Urshifu would always get killed by any Moltres Air Slash or any Klefki special uh, dazzling leap, as long as there was some special attack floating around. So it lost the band. It took the sash. And now it gets to hit things twice, which turns out is kind of good. It still hits really, really hard and doesn't feel as bad about hitting close combat anymore. I think there's a world where this Amoongus actually does go back to Mental Herb, but we're sticking with the Ayapapa berry because it's a, it's a fun berry. And I think just having this thing with a lot of health is going to be real. I think we're going to scout for the Terra Grass. I think we're going to scout for... Um, for the goggles if, if necessary. I bet there's a goggles on like the Moltres or something. And we're just not going to click on Spore unless we have to. Sludge Bomb is a just fine move. We are especially bulky because looking at his team, uh, a, a big point about Landorus is it only has Intimidate and Annihilate. You don't want to Intimidate that. It's got Defiant. It might have Vital Spirit this week, but it's got Defiant. Mudsdale has own Tempo. And what, Toxicroak? What am I Intimidating on this team? So... That's why Landorus fell off. The Rotom has uh, 
is still on the team because I think that offensively he has a really hard time hitting it. He's got the iron bundle, but nothing else here really hits it super effectively. I mean, that's what happens when you have Rotom Heat. You can also Terra Electric because, again, Rotom Heat, Levitate, and the Thunderbolt Volt Switch. Choice specs. Terra Electric. Yeah, let's just hit him hard. The Overheat will hit the Electrode. It hits the Klefki pretty hard. But honestly, I'm probably just going to be launching Electric Attacks with this Mon. I could trick the Klefki, the Toxic Croak, the Mudsdale, but I don't think I'll trick. But we could. Uh, I wanted a bulkier Rotom. So we invested like this. I found this speed tier because it does something in Trick Room. It does it does something in um in Tailwind, but I don't want to be too fast because I might click on Trick Room sometimes. This is not a Trick Room team where I go really, really slow. It's a Trick Room team where I'm just slower than my opponent. So I actually kind of feel like I've got both modes sometimes. Finally, we have Auto the Sligu. Again, we're not min speed because maybe we'll actually get something with, with the Tailwind. But the point of this mon is to live anything from Annihilate. We've got the Acid Armor for Mudsdale and Annihilate hitting us super effectively. We are going to win games long with the Acid Spray and the Flash Cannon. Moltres is not going to appreciate staying in against that those moves. Neither will any of these mons. Annihilate actually wouldn't mind it getting hit a bunch, but if I'm life doing in Acid Armoring and then my mons get healed up with their, with their berries, they actually get surprisingly bulky. Shell Armor is good because I don't actually expect to get hit with any Grass types on this Sligu. He's not physical. Not this week. And Gooey, we don't actually want to be Gooey into the Annihilate. Uh, we don't want to trigger its Defiant. So let's just not get Crit and Acid Armor up. We could Shelter, but again, in, in PLA, Shelter gives you an Evasion Boost. And here it's just, it's just Acid Armor. It's just Iron Defense. But it's got fewer PP. This one has so many moves. This Flash Cannon is probably the best choice because we don't want a Dragon move to get walled by Klefki. But I really looked at Dragon Pulse. I looked at Dragon Breath for the Paralysis because maybe Paralysis is cool. Uh, but honestly, just uh, anything that tries to Terra Fairy into my Urshifu, suddenly Sligu can hit it super effectively with both of its moves. And we're not going to get walled by Klefki. Anyway, let me send this challenge. Good luck to Jay. Uh, good luck to me. Good luck to Jay. Let's have a good battle. I need this. I need this. I need this. Let's challenge to Reg D. Go slow. Yeah. So the plan is to actually just lean into our strengths. Or we are not strong. We are not faster than him. Okay. Hey, look. It's close to what I expected. But the Mudsdale is here. Into all my flying immunities too. Uh, it's all my ground immunities. Challenge. I would like this. I would like this. Like this. I would like this. I would like this. I would like this. Game one. Game two. Good luck to you. Check, check, check. Mm hmm. Pull up a calc over here. Let's make this video look a little nicer. That'll do. Yeah. Okay. Can I make this any bigger? I kind of want to. But I don't want to I don't want to adjust this in real time. I just want to we'll figure this out later. Okay. Okay, so this is what we plan for. There's no fake out, which I actually really like. Um we've got the defog and the uh crits, so maybe we try going fast to start. He's got the Mudsdale to stop me from going slowly. I feel good. I feel really good. This is what I prepared for. Mudsdale is here and I'm just not scared of him. Do I want to be in Trick Room? I think I do. Do I want to have my Terra Electric Mesprit run the game? I think we lead fast. I think we just lead kind of scary and fast. 
Do we fast in the back? I kind of want to know what this Klefki is up to. I'm in game one. Okay. Yeah, everything looks great here. I don't want to be Sligu this game. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm slow today. Maybe I just go really slow, really fast. Really immediately. Let's go into Trick Room. Let's win with the Sligu. Do I need, I'm, I'm asking myself if I need this, this Urshifu. Does, what is Urshifu hitting? It's just hitting hard is what it's hitting. I think it comes in in the back and then wins on a sash. So let's not show... Let's not show the Sligu yet. Okay. Booster speed. Okay, cool. Okay, so he's going really, really fast. Which we expected. This thing doesn't get taunt, but this thing does. So let's kill it. I want a Rage Powder. And I want a Trick Room. This feels great. What's the problem? I see no problems here. Misty Terrain. Okay, we're slow now. And we're not doing status, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to switch out of this guy. We're going to go into Hasbro. We're going to... We're going to target this guy. He's going to be sad. But we'll do it next turn. Here comes Light Screen. Let's get our boost. Let's be bulky and slow. Protect. Okay. Yuck. This is fine. This is fine. That's awful. Everything about that was bad. But let's... Okay, so he's got the light scream up. We're going to assume it's going to be there for a while. So now that I don't have my boost, I'm actually a little sad. So maybe I'm supposed to Terra, Terra hit the penguin. Or I just hit it with Rotom. Let's just still be not afraid of this Klefki. And Volt Switch into the penguin. Misty Terrain's still up. I'm pretty sure this kills. I'm Choice Specs, of course it kills. But the Mudsdale could come in. Fairy. Okay. Yuck. I think this is fine. I don't like it. But there's that Terra Fairy that we are looking at. So the Sligo in the back is actually going to be kind of nice in the future. It might protect. What is everything? Foes, Reflect, and Light Screen, and Misty Terrain, and Trick Room. So let's... Let's start hitting. Oh, okay. Through the... Wow. Through the Light Screen. I want my Calc. I want Urshifu. And I want Bundle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him. Get get this guy out. Uh-oh. AV. That's got to be AV. That's got to be AV. I'm plus one. So we're going to sleep it. We're going to kill this and we're going to sleep it because it's on, it's in the air. Okay, 
hold on. Mesprit at force attack plus one. Uh, this is four. This is Moltres. This is something like this. This is 252. I'm at plus one. I've got Thunderbolt. Yeah, it's got to be AV, right? Okay, it could just be bulky. Okay, it's just bulk. It's just specially defensive. This is fine. Um, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can catch this thing. Not not thinking I have protect. Cause this thing, <sighs> it's light clay. Oh, it's through. Okay, hold on. It's through light screen. There's the gleam. Okay, so we know the Klefki set. It's not. Okay, we're doing it. We're here. I think we switch out. Okay, I don't want to get gleamed. I really don't want to get gleamed by this Klefki. So let's. Let's keep hitting the Klefki. Or do we kill this thing? I really want to hit this Klefki. I don't want... I don't want, want Urshifu to take a Dazzling Gleam. That's, that's what's up right now. Yeah, and he would have. Poison. Stamina. This is fine. We're not afraid of this. It might switch out. This thing has Terra Grass, probably. Am I faster? I am faster. Okay. I kind of want to scout for the goggles, not going to lie. Okay. Get your boosts. There we go. We found the goggles. Okay, I feel good about this. I feel really good about this. Oh, I forgot about him. Okay. Trick room? Fudge bomb. No pollen puff. Do I want trick room back? I don't think I do. I think that ace in the back is is the guy. I think I need to mystical power here. Both of them are going slower than than him. Icy wind? Certainly not. We found the goggles. Protect is good. Protect and kill? Oh, I hope. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Yeah, I think this is fine. Because now the screens go down. And I can actually threaten these guys. So I can do this. And I can sucker punch the penguin. Even though it's fairy through reflect, we're killing this thing, right? It's faster than me, but we're killing it. Mudsdale could go out to to this, but I think that's also fine. Having priority on this is on, on Thaddeus is so good. And the focus sash means I feel I feel like I'm playing this as though I don't have focus sash. Okay, I don't think the Moltres has any HP. I'm looking at this calc. I don't think the Moltres has any HP through the light screen. Okay, he's waiting a while. That means he's thinking about switching out this this iron bundle, which means he thinks it can kill here. I've got protect. 
I think I love hitting this. I think there's no downside to this. If he switch, if he... <sighs> If he hits here, and I kill, I don't think this this Urshifu can take on everything. I think I need to protect the Mesprit a little bit. So I need to make sure that, yeah, I need to protect the Mesprit. And that's what Sucker Punch does. Yeah. Now I might die. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And I'm faster than you! We learned this. Really? Am I? Oh, he's also asleep. Easy. Good. I'm not faster than you. But he's faster. Alright! Good game. Good game one. Okay, let's grab the replay. Let's copy. Let's go here. Let's close. Let's GG1. All right. I hate when I don't scroll this. That's on me. Okay. What did we learn? We found the goggles. They're on the mudstale. That was worth the turn because I didn't lose. Um, but we found the goggles. We are still recording. Just checking in on logistics here okay we found the goggles they're on the mudsdale that means the mudsdale is not terra grass which i was kind of expecting more okay okay so i think the sligu is set up really well i don't think the mudsdale is going to come again i think the amogus can come again <sighs> do i want to go fast do i want to go faster than the bundle And then Mesprit Sligu. Because we're expecting the... Okay, I want to lead... I want to lead this. And not because I want to go faster than the bundle, but he's going to lead... I'm going to predict he's going to lead Annihilate. And he's going to die to the Fletch and not expect it. That's what I'm hoping. We're going to go fast. And I still think having the slow mode in the back is fine. I, th I still think that the Mesprit is nuts here. Terra Electric went so hard. See him getting up to plus three or plus six, was it? Or plus it was three X, so it was plus four. And it missed one. And it missed one. Yeah, Mesprit's good here. Do I need the Rotom? The Rotom's still really good into his team. Especially in in uh in Tailwind. So do I go Do I go fire leads? No, I don't want to get bundled. I think it's still this. But this is really good. He found my sash. Can I do without the Amoongus? I think so. Can I do without the Sligu? What's he going to kill the Sligu with? Body press, but I'm going to be defensive. I kind of want to bring the Sligu. I'm having it. I'm having trouble finding reasons not to bring. Oh, um, Rotom is not faster than Booster Bundle. There's no Rotom that's faster than Booster Bundle. Also, I'm not very speed invested. I'll be faster than the Klefki using Dazzling Gleam, but that doesn't mean anything. I won't be faster than the Moltres. Let's bring the Sligu. Let's go. Let's let's go slow. Let's do the slow thing. Oh, oh, he's he's not ready. He's not ready. This Annihilate is not long for this world. So one of the thing, one of the problems with using with using Brave Bird in general, is that your next hit, uh, you don't have the Gale Wings. So I still think that this has got to be a Sash, right? No, no, he's bullet seeding. He's bullet seeding. Yeah, we're doing it. He's bullet seeding. He could be Scarf even. Yeah. Let's make sure we get it. Here comes the bullet seed, but he's going to be dead. So 
So I, I'm supposed to click Tailwind here. I'm almost certain that I'm supposed to click Tailwind here. But this is going to be Scarf, and it's going to do a thing, and he's got Bullet Seed. But look, this is a thing that people do, is that after their first game, if they lose, they look at their other mons that they didn't bring. And they're like, I should be in my other mode. And I think that is, it's not that it's predictable, but it's really easy to look at a guy that didn't perform, like the Mudsdale, and be like, oh, that guy felt bad. I'm going to not bring him. Um, is there any world where this is dumb? Like, this this gets the kill, but do I actually want Tailwind really bad? I kind of want Tailwind kind of bad, not going to lie. So, like, I could Terra Dark. I don't want to Terra this. I want to I wanna set my Terra for the back. I don't want to protect. Um, I really want to show off the, sh the the calc into this into this guy. I'm supposed to click on Tailwind. I'm supposed to click on Tailwind. It's really good. Clicking on Tailwind is really good. He's gonna be Sash. Or Loaded Dice. Ooh. I don't feel like calcing this. I don't want to waste a ton of time. But this is a hard choice. This could Terra, and that would mess things up. Okay. Okay, this feels just fine. We'll sucker punch it to make sure that we get it. Show me the bullet seed. Thunderbolt, fine with me. Oh! Oh, did you see? It didn't kill! Hold on. That's super interesting. And look at how wrong I am! Look how wrong I am! <gasps> I'm in trouble now. So now I don't have my tailwind. And I'm in trouble. Um Okay. Let's say I click on hit hit. Why didn't that why did that do so little damage? That was supposed to kill. Doesn't matter, he's gone. Doesn't matter, he's gone. Okay. Thunderbolt, Terra Thunderbolt probably kills this alone. He's booster speed. Probably loaded dice. I really want to go into the Slicker. The Slicker feels so safe here. Can I life do? No, I have to like try to click on, on Tailwind, but probably die. I died to both of these guys. Do I sack Urshifu here? Is that okay? And just like die and be dead? Will o wisp? Uh. I want to protect. And try to click on the tailwind and then die. Okay. Dead to Thunderbolt? Yep. That's fine. We're going to kill this with the uh, Sligu later. Okay, here's the mess button. He knows it's scary. He knows this is scary. So Thunderbolt's landing over here. And what's it gonna do against this? Terra Electric? And then I and then I lightning bolt into this? That seems fine. Terra Electric Thunderbolt. This could turn into a Mudsdale and that would be funky, but I'll be fine with that. I want this to be Terra Electric. Uh, anyway. Here's Sligu. Terra Fairy. We know this what this looks like. But, didn't this... No, Rotom almost killed last time. Woo! Woo! Go Mesprit. Look at him go. Alright, let's... Let's start taking names. Let's start taking names. And let's just click on Life Do. What are you going to do? What are you going to do in my Sligu? Look at my uh, max defense, but still, Eviolite, though. Okay. So it's life do. Or is it just flash cannons? Do we just start flash cannoning things? And a trick room? I don't want to lose 
the Mesprit yet. Yeah, let's just let's just heal up. Yeah, this is fine. Chloroblast did not half. Ha. Look at Chloroblast doing not half to me. Okay, so. Life do still good here. Because this is kind of the thing. We don't need to be Trick Room yet. We do need to handle this. I might lose this here. He might Chloroblast and Body Press me or something. But I think I think I'm I'm, I'm seeing a fighting move into here. I think I'm seeing a ground move into this Lego. But I'm max physical defense. Yeah, Sligu feels great. And honestly, I was I was calling Mudsdale to not be here. Like, look at all of my ground immunities. Like, they're all just here. And I've got three of them on the team. Um, but own tempo. No, it's stamina. Body press. Oh, Daisy. Okay, I haven't figured out how I'm gonna kill it. Okay. Worth the sack, I guess. Come on, life do. Don't die. Ho, 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 let's do it. <laughs> let's flash cannon and protect. Let's kill the penguin. Life do coming through, but Sligu, not quiet Sligu. Bold, or not minus speed Sligu, it's, it's bold Sligu. Because I want to be faster than things sometimes. What's this bundle going to do? Protect? Fine. Protect, I dare you. Yeah. Yeah. Try me. Try again. Oh no. Body press. Let's life do again. And then let's mystical power. Because we're seeing that body press doesn't do enough. Um, we're not going to get crit. Because we're shell armor. And we're going to we're gonna iron defense. If, if, we lose, if we lose tranquility here, we'll just... Yeah, this is fine. We're going to iron defense. We're going to acid armor. And we'll wicked blow. Or we can just kill it. Do you think we kill it with two hits? I think Acid Armor is the safe play. I think we Wicked Blow. And we just kill. Good game. Good game too. Alright. Let's grab the replay. And let's grab the third replay. And then let's grab the replay. All oh, right, good match. I want to talk about it. I really want to talk to him about it because that was a cool matchup. It feels good when you win. It feels it feels better to talk about after you won. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, his mic is messed up. Okay, let's let's at least watch the games back. 
So, going slow felt great. Oh, let's look at his team. Um, okay, let's look at his team. And I'll send him my team, because that's what you do. Let's go to here. Okay. So, hey, it was the scarf. Show me. Yeah, there's the bullet seed and, the, and then loaded dice. Okay. We called it. No scarf. No sash. Okay. So, we expected this. We, we saw this in the lead. Um, and I think I could have done some calcs, but whatever. Why didn't my Brave Bird kill? That's supposed to be a calc I had in the bag. Hold on a second. This thing max HP? No, it's not even max HP, but it's supposed to kill max HP. I want Adamant. I want uh, uh, Sharp Beak. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. And then I want Brave Bird. Okay, it just doesn't kill. One sixteen of four defense. Did it? Did it Terra? Yeah, so uh, his comment is that he dropped uh, Imprison Trick Room from Klefki really early on. Uh, or, or actually, not really early on at the last minute. And then um, that these 52 defense EVs in the Mesprit, saving at 4%, was huge. Hold on. Let's go back. Very big. Okay, so make this bigger? Yeah, make it bigger. Give me, give me, give me big. Um, here's that Choice Scarf uh, Bullet Seed that we had. Um, uh, um, okay, so he had the bullet seed rage fits. It's good, but it turns out me leading priority second game helped because I hit him with two priority moves before anything had happened. And I, let's see. Okay, so I'm just wrong about this Brave Bird calc. I don't know why I thought this killed. I definitely had a calc at one point where this kills. Does it have to be Terra? I don't think so. Oh no, look, it's just doing a lot of damage. With the Sharp Beak and the Adamant and the Brave Bird. Okay. I'm missing something. I, I did a calc one day a bunch and, and just I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, but I want to look at Urshivu. And I want to look at this guy and I want to look at 116.4. Right? So the Wicked Blow, not Choice Band, Sash, just doesn't kill. So I was right not to click it. And if I Terra, it's, I would still have been sad. <sighs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Um, okay. So I made the right choice not to hit this thing. And what about... Am I still jolly? Yeah, I know that I'm jolly. What about Electrode? Choice specs is a fine thing. 252 HP. So Wicked Blow would have... Oh, I had to Terra, but it would have just killed. But uh, Sucker Punch wouldn't have. Something like that. 
Yeah, okay. So yeah, this is the thing that I found in a lot of my calcs, that Urshifu puts on a lot of pressure, but he actually needs a boosting item or a Terra because he doesn't actually get the KOs. Like 130 is actually just a really big number, but a reasonable one. Okay, so this is... This was a this was a really cool lead for me, going back to the games. I don't often think to lead the slow mode. And I think that my team is actually super fine at leading the slow mode. I think leading Amoongus is a great guy to lead. But the um I, I trusted it this game. And it worked. And and it super duper worked. And this team supports it a lot better. Also, a thing that happened a lot last season was everyone brought Terra Grass into me, and everyone brought, not even everyone brought Safety Goggles, everyone brought Terra Grass. And it's a good defensive type, but also it stopped Amoongus, uh, it stopped Fungus, and uh, it stopped Fungus, it stopped Wochian, and it stopped, uh, just a, I didn't have a great coverage into it. And this time, there's no Terra Grass. I really expected this Mudsdale to be Terra Grass or something. The Terra Fairy. Um, Purple, you were wrong about this, and Heaven, you were right. Terra Fairy Moltres. Yeah, this is exactly the Moltres that I expected. Look at the defense investment. So my Soak plays... Yeah, yeah, good play. Good play by me. Um, good outplays by me. Um, okay, so the... Uh, I had a Soak play where you would Soak, you would Choice Band, Terra Dark, Urshifu, and look, look, it wouldn't have even worked. Because the, of this 92 event certainly prevents it. So I'm glad I didn't go with the frail fast mode. And the bulk mattered. Ba -ba. The misty terrain. And you know what? Let's just hit. Oh no, we rage powdered. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't want to be in this. I actually do want to be in the replays. Because it gives me a little bit of control. Okay. Let's go again. So we have, we Rage Powder and we don't get hit because we want to protect our, we want to protect from taunts. Was there a taunt? No. Icy Wind. In case I went fast. What if I went slow? Okay, hold on. And then we set up Trick Room. Bop, bop, bop. Trick Room. And then we don't, we want to, look, look at me using Regenerator. I can regenerate. Was I Regenerator? I better have been Regenerator. Yeah, I was. Using Regenerator, predicting the light screen, missing the Mystical Power, and being kind of sad about this turn. Not getting my Citrus Berry, I was really worried about, like, this was a low roll and I could die to a high roll. But I had that 52 Spadef investment that made this happen. Okay, so the Terra Fairy to not be weak. Uh, this is one of a few Terras that he had to run. I think all of his Terras. Oh, this wasn't AV. Duh, it was this. His Terras were all defensive. He didn't have a single aggressive Terra. They were all just, let's take less damage. And I've been actually going into, like, let's take offensive Terra options. Mesprit, really good at that. There's the Reflect. Reflect may be unnecessary, but Dazzling Gleam looks so bad here. Mesprit also wears a, uh, a vest really well. This is unfortunate. I guess it was fine, but he needed to Terra and have Light Screen up. In order to not die to this. The extra health on a Moonkiss, super mattering. I didn't even think I triggered my berry. And look, I just had pressure because Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb not missing. That was a weird hit. If I had the plus one, so if I had the plus one here, then this would be Berserk right now. And it would have citrused up. Whatever. It was calm. Calm with defense and. Oh. Oh, super defensive. No Spatak. Okay. Urshifu might have lived. Spore is free. Last turn of Trick Room. Let's get my boost. And I'm just not afraid of the Klefki. Look at me being not afraid of the Klefki. Because I'm just not weak to it. Air Slash did only 32%. That's because it's got no Spatak. And I didn't trigger its Berserk. No Flinch is nice. 100% Accuracy Spore is nice. And then... I wanted the, the the sludge here. I guess I just didn't do any damage to this thing. Just just didn't take any damage. Body press just doing 26. Relevant for next game. I think I was okay losing the Amoongus here. I think that was part of the plan. 
If if losing the Amoongus was part of the plan, then could I have clicked on Rage Powder and hit? Huh. I could have clicked on a Rage Powder here. Noted. Sucker Punch was great. So Urshifu having priority just is a is another option, and it's stab. So, yep. Also, look at look at this. I guess it's plus two. Bonk, but but getting through the plus two. Okay, so Urshifu is great, and if if even if this thing clicked on protect, it didn't matter. Protect. Real game too. Oh, shush. Okay, this is okay. Game two. So we switch to going fast, and we see both of the newmons. And I, I go for the double hit just in case, and turns out it was important. How close was that of a roll? It did. I need to do 64, but my calcs are bad. Why do I have this calc in my head? Fletchender, 252, Adamant, Sharpbeak, Brave Bird, into Annihilate. Did I not put in... EV? Okay, I didn't do EVs last time. That's why. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, watch the whole video. Now you'll see that I'm not dumb. Look, this is the this is the calc that I've been looking at forever, ever since uh, last season. This this free kill. Flesh into Brave Bird into Annihilate. But his Annihilate. I'm so confused. What am I doing wrong? Don't need this. Okay, I think it would have just killed. I'm not Terra. I'm just Brave Bird. But I love this. I love this calc here. I love this calc. Something weird happened. I don't know. This I I believe this calc. This calc's so good. But if he terrored into water or something and I'm only doing half and then I actually don't get the kill which would have been sad okay I don't know what's going on I'm looking at something wrong I'll watch the tape back okay Thunderbolt was strange but it's fine because I was expecting the bullet seed and I was really sad here I was really sad to lose the Fletchender and if I had brought the Rotom in the back I would just not have had speed control so the reason so the thing that I'm doing here is Instead of having speed control, I am being bulky. And that is, like, I lost my speed control. I traded my speed control for his threat. And now he's faster than me. Okay. So I just have to play into the bulk, I guess. And no weakness bulk. Resist the, uh, no, don't resist that, but, oh. That's a, that's a calc, my friend. And again, the Mesprit would have killed. Because Mesprit good. No special attack, just get him. Life do coming in. Oh, let's live it. <laughs> live it twice. How about we live again? Oh. Life do. I clicked life do three times. Two times? Maybe three times. Get him out. Get him out. Go Sligoo. And then Urshifu hitting through the defense boosts. And they protect. Just good. I forgot that, that, that this was going to kill him. But that's fine. Alright. And that's the set. Alright. I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I've been talking. I like the videos to be around an hour. But, you know. The game is what it is. Um, I've been Colby. I'm Colby. The uh, co-damon of the Boca Raton Belly Bolts. Uh, and I'll see you next week.